DeAndre Hopkins to the Cardinals and David Johnson to the Texans. And I can't name the picks off the top of my head. It was, I think, swapping twos and uh, fours and I think a seven. But it's a completely terrible trade. I don't know what the hell Bill O'Brien is thinking. You traded for Carlos Hyde. No, you signed Carlos Hyde and you trade for Duke Johnson. And you have Lamar Miller coming back from the torn ACL, unless they release him, I don't know. But why would you get another running back when you already have those three guys? It just doesn't compute. And plus, why would you uh, trade away one of your biggest offensive weapons, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, who's been named to to all pro team three straight years, been a durable guy, missed two games in his entire career, for nothing. I mean, I love David Johnson. He's a, gr he's a great player. But you still should have been able to get maybe two twos for him with Johnson. And so on and so on. But, and r I've heard rumblings through other sources that I guess there was a meeting between DeAndre and Bill O'Brien in which Bill... When the meeting start, mentioned that the last time I had to have a meeting of this context is um, when I had a meeting with Aaron Hernandez. Now, I find that completely and utterly disgusting that he would compare Aaron Hernandez to him. He has had no trouble with the law. He has had no trouble with his teammates that I am aware of. He's had no trouble with be suspensions. And, su and such, he's never fought a, a fought with the coaches, that, to my extent of knowledge. And he's never, like, gone on a sideline rant about, oh, I want the ball, give me the ball, you. So it just doesn't seem foul. And we, it just seems like the, uh, Bill O'Brien is a, I mean, I love, I love Bill O'Brien as a coach. I mean, it's probably, some maybe don't like that. I mean, yeah, he's a curmudgeon in the playoffs. But I thought they were building something. And we saw inklings of him as a GM when he traded away Javon Clowney for scraps. I mean, I like Bertavius Mingo. I mean, it wasn't a complete utter trade, a terrible trade, but it was a bad trade. And the same goes for here. It just doesn't seem to fill a need for them. It just doesn't seem like it had to happen. And it just seems like Bill O'Brien is going to start running them into the dirt unless he picks the next generational wide receiver because now the team, what's going to happen is that teams are going to double team Will Fuller all the time, like the uh, teams did with Julian Edelman this prior year with the Patriots, and just double team them and have to go up out elsewhere. Besides Will Fuller, I mean they have some good wide receivers, but not great wide receivers like DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, for God's sake, why would you trade him? Why? I mean, if you look at another trade. Uh, who Stefan Diggs is maybe not at the same level, but is close to that level uh, to um, DeAndre Hopkins. He got traded for a hawk load of draft picks, a 1, a 4, a 7, and a 2. I Don't quote me on that, but I believe that was what the trade was. But God's sake, what the hell are you thinking? Just unbelievable. And then another thing with that meeting that slowly deteriorated straight from the get-go is that he mentioned about how DeAndre has children with different, uh, multiple different women. And I just find that also puzzling to why he'd mention that. Has that you know, decreased his productivity on the field? No. Has that caused problems off the field? No. Has he ever been arrested uh, for stuff related to him and his... Uh, uh, Baby mothers? No. So it just doesn't seem fathomable. Why would you trade them? That remains to be seen. What will happen? Well, he's going to team up with Larry Fitzgerald, and I think the Cardinals are probably going to become a much better team. They might make a run for the playoffs. I don't know, but they'll definitely improve the uh, Texans. I think they're going to go a little bit down ship unless they draft a wide receiver in the first round. I don't know. But that maybe that's the route they're going to go, since now they have two first-round picks this coming draft, and are going to use them. On um, what? I don't know. We'll see what happens, and that's all I got.